PCSL, what is it? And how can you get involved? Um, I'm, I'm making this video because there's been a lot of dissatisfaction with USPSA lately, quite a lot. Um, and I'm not, I'm not one to, I like, I don't want there to be a, you know, a different shooting league. Like I want, you know, USPSA to get its shit together and, and, and be the king and all that stuff. But that may not happen. And it, I, I do remember, you know, 25 years ago when USPSA was way behind on equipment rules, production division, uh, which was like the precursor for, for carry optics and that type of stuff that didn't really exist. So it was, uh, you know, there was open and limited where the USPSA competition divisions, if you wanted to shoot a gun like this, well, you're shooting this in open, which is kind of lame. And uh, IDPA came around pushing the, the more practical, like carry style gear or production style gear. And after a few years, USPSA kind of got its shit together and got production rolling. And they, you know, they took off and, and grew dramatically uh, over the course of time after that. Uh, and maybe something like that is happening now with PCSL. So what is PCSL? Well, I'm holding this target here. This is the PCSL target. Um, it's a little bit different than the USPSA target, but also very similar, basically the size and dimensions. Now, if you go to PCSLeague.com, I'll put the link in the description, you can get more information about it. But what PCSL is, is just a competitor organization to USPSA. How do they get paid? You might wonder. That's the big thing with USPSA is people are unhappy about where the money's going. You just buy the targets and they get paid that way. There's not a classification system that they take a fee for. There's no like member dues or anything like that. Uh, and there is a functional rule set. And this appears to be picking up some steam as the competitor league to USPSA. So I thought I'd come on here and talk about it because what am I hearing? I'm hearing from a lot of people. I have a lot of little birdies uh, whispered in my ear that, you know, tons of tons of clubs. I mean, a, a substantial number of clubs are looking at getting away from USPSA. We're going to stop doing USPSA. We're going to do PCSL instead. Uh, and, you know, why might that be attractive? So if you go to a USPSA match, they run a classifier, there's going to be a fee for that classifier. I think it's three bucks uh, for every person, you know, for every run on the classifier. Uh, and that ends up adding up and people have to pay member dues and all that stuff. Uh, and there's some logistics that have to happen to get the money to USPSA and get the classifier scores there. I mean, it's a lot simpler now uh, in the era of uh, computers, but it's still some stuff that people have to do. And the people that do that stuff, I'm talking about match directors, uh, they'll put on a match, you know, they make a, a couple thousand bucks in a weekend or whatever, 1500 bucks, whatever it is, from the, the match fees that come in. And then they end up sending a couple hundred, a few hundred bucks to USPSA every time they have a match, every month. Those people that are, that are doing that are getting annoyed with USPSA. They're looking at this saying, like, hey, we could just buy like more, you know, steel targets or whatever. We can buy more stuff for the club instead of giving these USPSA goons uh, this money. And I, I think that would be better for us. So I'm, I'm, hearing, I'm hearing from a, quite a few clubs that are looking at going this direction. So if you wanna go that direction, check out pcsleague.com. It's, it's run by Max Lee Grandis, who actually, I would say he's actually trying to have a good rule set. He's pretty responsive to people. Now, this thing's still in its infancy. Uh, it is. But I'm hearing talk of like guys running major matches like uh, in place of USPSA section match. Like, hey, we'll just do a PCSL match. Uh, we'll make a PCSL next year. So I'm hearing, I'm hearing this is coming. So maybe, maybe it's something you're interested in. So you should go check it out. Um, talk to your match director. If you're the match director, check it out. Decide, like, hey, do I want to send USPSA my money? Or do I want to do PCSL, send them a little bit of money, and USPSA gets no money from me? Because that's where a lot of people are at right now. And it's not the people that don't care. It's not, um, I, I don't see a lot of upset people that don't care that just want to go shoot. But there's a lot of people, like the guys that do the grunt work, that make the club matches happen, that are really dissatisfied with USPSA. And a lot of them are looking at, hey, I'll just run these matches instead. 
and that would make that make me happy. And these guys, you know, they'll probably still come shoot it because it's fundamentally a very similar, very similar deal. So there it is, PCSL. Take a look at it. Um, I enjoyed training on the targets. I haven't shot a PCSL match yet, but I enjoy training on the targets, and maybe that'll be the direction things go. We'll be see. We'll see. You know, I'll be watching, of course.